Hey guys, welcome back to Contest Prep University. I'm Joe Klimazeski with Adam Atkinson. We are in our ninth and final uh, episode in this Contest Day Management series. And I think we may have some more that pop up here and there, but the final one that I could think of, because it happens all the time, Adam, is women saying, oh my gosh, I just realized I'm gonna start my period the day before the show, or two days before the show, or maybe on Contest Day. And, and the first concern for them is always, hormonally, how is this going to affect my condition? Am I going to lose my tightness? I usually gain a couple pounds. I look bloated. You know, sometimes there are GI complications with, with menstruation. So you are the expert. You have probably coached more women than I have just in sheer volume over the course of our career. So, so this has got to be something you contend with every single week. Yeah. The first thing leading into that is when is this happening? So this could affect, you know, how they look to a very slight degree. And I will say this, a lot of times I cannot tell if they are on their cycle or not due to the bloating they feel. But I always want to be empathetic to how they feel. Um, you want to make sure you manage carbs appropriately. Um, there's a lot of people that think that having your cycle affects your protein, carb, and fat, you know, what your body's doing from an energy balance perspective. And that's just not true. You're still going to assimilate carbs just as fast as when you're on your cycle versus when you're not. Um, but you still want to make sure you manage that fullness and tightness during the week. And they are just going to feel more prone to feeling bloated. So if you pull back carbs, you have to make sure you don't pull them back far enough that they're getting flat. So that's always the first consideration. Um, also, um, vitamins and minerals. So I think uh, I, I typically have my girls add in vitamin C at around 500 to 1,000 milligrams. It can be a very good natural diuretic, which is nice. And I'll also have them load calcium as a mineral support that can also help them with the symptoms of PMS quite a bit. Um, it's also great to have some magnesium and zinc in there as well to help mitigate those symptoms as well. So um, obviously sometimes some iron supplementation depending on, you know, genetic history and things of that nature. Yeah, and, and I totally agree with if you do feel like you're going to be bloated, like you're, you're, you haven't started your period yet and it's going to be contest day, the, the science or the physiology behind this is that as estrogen and progesterone are crisscrossing, leading up, you know, you're going through the luteal phase, you're, you're, you're in that whole hormonal you know, chaos, but there is some predictability. I mean, you may think it's chaotic, but once you actually start your period, there is a shift where a lot of that, that bloating or retention and even cramping just kind of mitigates for a while. And that's a point in time where you should feel better. You, get, you should see some of those symptoms reduce. So if, if you are in that, that uh, time uh, period where you are you know, a day or two before the show and you know you're going to start, physiologically, you're probably going to look okay. You're going to be back to being very similar. So I would just wait that out and you have to contend with actually being on your period at the show. But as Adam is saying, if you're still in that phase where you haven't quite started, you're, you're feeling very bloated, you, you may be up a pound or two holding water, then I think as Adam is saying, you could reduce carbs just a little bit uh, just to, to mitigate any spillover that that could be contributing to. But then, you know, the broad spectrum of minerals Adam mentioned, I think are fine. You may need to drink a little bit more water just to try and, <clears throat> you know, get your body to systemically reduce more. But any other little tidbits or tips on this, Adam? Because it, I, I know it's just a, a real uh, you know, mind issue sometimes, just not knowing what's going to happen. That's what I was going to say. It's more a mental issue, too. Um, you know, very rarely will it affect you to a point that you look that bad, you know, or that much worse. Um, there are very rare scenarios where I've ever seen it affect someone that much, but I think it was more our carb load versus the actual cycle. But if it's any help to anyone watching, um, I had a group of seven girls win all, all seven height classes in bikini were all on their cycle on show day. So they didn't pick up the eighth, um, 
you know, the eighth spot, but we almost swept the whole show in bikini. So we had seven class wins in overall that day, all females who were on their cycle on show day. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, out of a 28 day cycle, if somebody's on their period five to seven days, you get a 25% chance it's going to happen. So I think as you kind of roll through contest to contest, you might want to document how your body is responding. Um, but as Adam said, I, I don't think many other people will even notice, but uh, it is something to definitely pay attention to. But guys, that wraps up this series. And uh, we want to make sure that we're getting feedback from you. So if you have questions about anything we've discussed, we, we're trying to categorize all of these uh, different topics and episodes into series that can be well-defined so you can, you can find everything you need on a specific category. But keep, keep commenting, giving us questions. I've had fun answering those. I'm sure you have too, Adam. And um, we will catch you next time for our newest series.